said the science kid. Why did my ice pop melt? Adapted by Susan Corman. Oh no! Said Chris, spotting an orange puddle on the table. My ice pop! I forgot about it, and now it's all melted. Sid asks, "Why can't ice pops stay frozen? Have you ever wondered why frozen things melt?" Sid picks up the ice pop sticks and hurries downstairs. "Look, Mom and Dad," he says, "I left my ice pop on the table, and it melted." Sid, Mom is not happy. You left an ice pop out overnight," she asks. Sid promises to clean the melted mess, but then can we make more ice pops? He asked. Dad smiles. Sure, he says. After breakfast, Mom and Dad help Sid make two more ice pops, one for Sid and one for his friend Gabriella, who's visiting after school. Mom puts out the ice pops in the freezer. Now all you have to do is wait, she says. A minute later, Sid opens the freezer door again. Hey, they're not ready yet, he complains. Dad laughs. The juice needs more time to freeze, Sid. At school, Sid has a question for his friends. Has a frozen treat ever melted before you could eat it? Yes, an ice cream sandwich says May. A red, white, and blue ice pop. Gabriella adds. Gerald grins. My bowl of ice cream melted once. It changed into cherry, banana, and chocolate chip soup. Soon, Teacher Susie says it's rug time. Sid tells her that he's wondering about why frozen things melt. If you want something to stay frozen, Teacher Susie asks, "Where is the best place to keep it?" The freezer. Everyone calls out. May turns to Sid. "That's why your ice pop melted," she says. "It wasn't in the freezer." Teacher Susie explains that as liquids get colder, they freeze. When the ice isn't kept cold, it melts. Sid has a new question: Can you freeze liquid back into ice? Yes, Teacher Susie nods. When something can change back and forth, it's called reversible change. Come on, she adds with a big smile. Let's investigate freezing and melting in the Super Fab Lab. Teacher Susie shows everyone a block of ice. Sid is amazed to see fruit frozen inside. That fruit is going to be our snack today, Teacher Susie tells them. But Gabriella is confused. How are we going to get it? She asks. We can wait for the block of ice to melt into water, says Sid. Then he remembers something important. Oh no! It takes a long time for ice to melt. Everyone thinks of ways to make the ice melt faster. What if we pour something warm on the block of ice? Sid asks. Good idea, Teacher Susie replies. Is there some sort of liquid we can use? Gabriella spots the sink. Warm water, she says. Teacher Susie pours warm water over the block of ice. Now try to get the fruit out, she tells everyone. But the ice is still frozen solid. Teacher Susie pours more water on the ice, and then some more. At last, the ice begins to melt, and the friends can get their snack. Mmm! Gerald says happily, "These grapes are good and cold." On the way home from school, Sid and Gabriella tell Sid's grandma about melting and freezing. Ice can melt into water, and water can freeze into ice. Explains Sid. It's called reversible change. The friends say together. When they get to Sid's house, Sid and Gabriella peek nervously into the freezer. Yes, they're finally ready. Sid and Gabriella cheered loudly. 
Now the friends can have another cool snack, frozen ice pops. See you later, scientists, Sid says.